welcome back in this video we are going to be formatting numbers with comments without using templates or classes so let's simplify write a detailed computer solution that can be used to accept as inputs any amount in cities and display the amount such that thousands are separated by commas. for example an input of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 point 7 8 should be displayed as 1 comma 2 3 4 comma 5 6 7 dot 7 8 point 78 to the algorithm now you're going to take the amount that the user wants to want to separate with comments you're going to take it from the user so you say input amount now we are going to convert this amount to an integer so we say int amount equals amount so you are converting the amount the user entered into an integer now when we convert this amount into an integer let's take the user's number to be the one we have one two three four five six seven point seven eight when we convert this to an integer, we're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? Now that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the original amount, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, point 7, 8, we can find the decimal part or the mantisa. So we say the mantisa equals amount minus int amount. So when we subtract the original amount from the integer amount, we are going to get the decimal part or the fractional part. Now, we are going to store it in the mantisa. Now what we're going to do is that we want to leave the answer in two decimal places. So we're going to multiply the mantisa by 100. So we say mantisa times equals 100. Now we're going to create an empty variable called i. And this i is going to help count the number of digits in the amount the user is going to enter. That is count the number of digits in the integer part of the amount, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. From here, we are going to create another variable called string amount and store in that string amount a point, so a full stop. So we say string amount in quotation mark point. So we can see that we are done with the, with the fractional part, the decimal part, and then the points. Now let's come to the integer part here. Now to the integer part, we are going to say that while the int amount, that is the integer part of the amount, it's not zero or while it is greater than zero take the last digit of that integer part so we say last digit equals in amount modulus 10 then string amount equals string last digit plus string amount int amount divided equals 10 i plus plus what this means is that at the integer part we are going to take the last digit now we are going to convert the last digit to a string, then prepend it to string amount. When I say prepend to string amount, I mean take the last digit, which is 7, and then put it in front of the string amount. We know string amount is just full stop, right? So we should put the last digit, which is 7, in front of the full stop. Now when you put it in front of the full stop, store it in string amount. So we are updating it. So at first it was point. Now we have updated it to seven points. Now after storing the last digit in the string amount, take away that last digit, remove it away. Now when you remove it, anytime you remove a digit, we know that i is counting the number of digits. So anytime you remove a digit, increase i by one. So we say i plus plus. Now this is going to continue. After you remove the seven, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now take the last digit again. Convert it to a string, then prepend it to string amount. Remember, string amount is now seven points. So the last digit when we prepend it, we are going to get six, seven points. Then we remove it and then increase i by one. Then again, we take the next last digit, which is five, prepend it to the string amount, which is five, which is six, seven points. When I prepend it to it, I'm going to get five, six, seven points. So I keep doing this until there is no longer any 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 digits or the, the digits become zero there is no longer any digits now as i'm doing this remember we, now we are done with the integer part. now let's go to the comma with the comma we say that if int amount is not zero if it is not zero or if int amount is greater than zero that means if there are still digits left and if i modulus 3 is equal to zero then string amount equals comma plus string amount n if n if what this means is that 
as we are printing numbers. Anytime we get to a third digit, what we want to do is that we want to prepend a comma in front of the string amount. So when I get to five, that means seven is the first digit, six is the second digit, five is the third digit. Once I get to the third digit, I want to prepend a comma in front of the string amount. So I'm going to get comma five, six, seven, right? And I'll say n if n if. So I'm going to continue doing this until there are no digits left. So I'm going to, I'll, I'll continue prepending a comma after the third digit to the next third digit to the next third digit to the next third digit until there is no digit left again. So from here, I'll say n while. Now, one small problem with this code is that the computer actually does not know the difference between 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04, 0, 05, 0, 05, 0, 06, 0, 07, 0, 08, 0, 09. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. It doesn't know the difference. It doesn't know the difference between 0, 1 and 1, 0, 2 and 2, 0, 3 and 3, 0, 4 and 4. So what you're going to do is that for so from 1 to 9, it doesn't know the difference between these that range 0, 1 to 0, 9 and 1 to 9. It doesn't know the difference. So what you're going to do is that we're going to say if Manchester is greater than 9, we, we multiply the Manchester by 100. So if the Manchester is greater than 9, then you should print string amount into Manchester else you should print string amount then print a zero over there then print the int mantissa and if you know we have the string amount which is going to end in points then we are going to print the int mantissa over there so we are seeing that for instance if the user inputs one two three four five six seven point zero one the computer will have printed one two three four five six seven point one instead of 0 0.01. So that's why we are saying that if the Manchester is greater than 9, you should print the actual one. But if it is not, or I mean, if it is less than or equal to 9, then you should first print 0 before it prints the, int, the, the Manchester. Now, the reason why, again, we are using int Manchester and not Manchester is that in case the user inputs a number, say, a number to let's say three decimal places, four decimal places, six des or a mo more decimal places. What we want to do is that if you don't use the int mantissa, the computer will print something like if I input one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point seven eight nine, the computer will display one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point seven eight point nine because you say to two decimal places. So what we want to do is we want to truncate the point 0.9 away so that we get only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, point 0.78 and there is no point 0.9 again. So we are going to convert the mantissa which we had. We are going to convert it to um, an, an integer. So here we have, if the mantissa was let's say 78.9, when we convert it to an integer, we are going to get only the 78. So the other part has been truncated and that will be it. So friends, that's it for the algorithm. Let's take a look. Let's convert it to code in C++. So because I'll be using strings, I include string over here. In the int main functions, I make my declaration for doubles and then the int, and I initialize i to be zero. Then I take the amount from the user, and I store it in int amount. Then I compute for the mantissa, multiply it by 100, and then create a string amount, which will store just a full stop. Then I create the while loop which is going to compute for the commas and then the integers and then store them in string amounts. That is the integer with its commas. Then from there, I'll store a copy of the mantissa in int mantissa. Remember, I convert, I'm converting to an integer. Now see if the mantissa is greater than, zero, greater than nine, then you should print it as it is. But if it is not, you should first print a zero and then you should print the mantissa. Then from there, I end my code. So let's try some values. I'm going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8.78. 8. And the amount in comma with comma is going to be this, which is right. Now let's take it to more than two decimal places and see whether it works. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. You can see that the, the 8, 8 part has been truncated, right? So our code is working properly. All right, friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video or in the next problem set. If there is any question, leave it in the comment section. Till then, apart, yeah.